What's happening, everybody? And it's here, and I'm doing an air mod tutorial for you guys. Yeah, this what's gonna be about the Pokemon mod. <laughs> I almost said zombie number there for a second. Pokemon mod. And if you ever played the uh, classic NES or uh, not NES, but the Game Boy games, Pokemon or DS versions. And if you can hear my brother, he's playing zombies. So we well, not just zombies on Call of Duty. So you can bear with me with that because it's also annoying for me to listen to. And uh, this mod is really cool. So if you ever played the classic mo Pokemon. Pokemon, ah, I'm getting messed up here. Pokemon, Pokemon mod. No, Pokemon game for the Game Boy. If you ever played this before, his mod is exactly uh, like that almost. There's custom maps out there. One guy made the complete replica, the complete replica of the one of the Pokemon games. The complete thing. You can do this whole entire game inside Minecraft. It's really cool. Um, I'll look for that if I can find it. I'll get put this just a link in the description if I can, not or I just don't have time to because I'm doing a lot of mods tutorial videos in a very short period of time, and uh, I'll do that. But anyway, so the first thing I'm gonna go ahead and do is download the files in the description below. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. And once you do that, go ahead and open up where you saved them to. So you're gonna need, I believe I forget what they were. There's like three or something like that. Things like audio mod, mod loader, and mod loader MP. Oh, yeah. yeah, I want to say so, it's mod loader MP. I'll take a look at it real quick, guys. I'll be right back. Yeah, I was correct. It's mod loader MP. So, uh, open up mod loader. Mod loader MP. And audio mod right here. So, here we go. Here we are. Here we are. We're good to go. I wish I had the copyrights to the, uh, not own, but able to distribute the copyrights <laughs> Pokemon theme song, because that'd be awesome. I think someone recreated the Pokemon theme song in Minecraft at one point or something like that. I think they did like a video like I think it was like some type of Pokemon versus Creeper or something like that. And uh it was really cool. So but I'm Pokemon Moms right here and I keep forgetting to mention this every freaking time. I'm sorry about this guys. But um you need to have one more or seven zip to open up these files. I keep min forgetting to mention that. And what you're gonna do now is go to What you wanna do now is go to uh user amp data roaming dot minecraft the other way you do this is go to start search percent symbol app data percent symbol and click roaming right here and once you're in roaming go ahead and click on dot minecraft go to bin and go to minecraft dot jar right here and the first thing you want to do whenever you open the minecraft dot jar up and when you're doing mods is delete made it and right click and click delete files now that's a tip right there to make sure mods work properly. Make sure it is deleted. If a mod does not work, go just go back and double check. So I'm going to go into a few different tips of uh, ways to make sure mods are working properly, and uh, everything in this file goes into the Minecraft.jar. Hide all these guys and just throw them right in. Now don't put them on top of these guys. I've, I've never had this happen to me before, but a lot of people say do not put them on top of the folders when you're inputting. Um, a lot they say that it may sometimes cause the problems with it, putting them inside the folders by accident, and that will cause the mod not to work, so you don't want to do that, so just don't even risk it, just put them on top of the class files. That's a tip right there, and uh, I got a few more coming, so I'm just going to put an audio mod, and mod loader, mod loader MP, and mod loader MP is for multiplayer, I believe, I'm not too sure about that. I will test that out, actually, for you guys, and then I'll record it if it actually works. So that'll be at the end of the video, towards the end. And um, once you know that everything's done, make sure main inf is deleted, it is gone. And we did a bad move. We did not want to exit that Pokemon file out. So let's go ahead and open up if you already deleted it. I exited out of it, the Pokemon mods folder. Open that back up. Because we want sound effects, right? We want sound effects. We like sound effects. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. And the way we want to do this is go to dot Minecraft right here and go to, uh, what's it called? It's resources. And then go to mod. Then go to sound. Now, um, then you got, we got no music, we got no balls, well, we got balls, but whatever. Throw these guys in, simply by not highlighting any of the other files, and you're done with that. Now, this here is one of the other main, number one reasons mods will not work for some people, because they have mods installed already. Make sure your Minecraft is fully updated. Now, even if it is up fully updated and there's no mods ever on your jar, there may be still mods in your Minecraft. Some people, myself included, forget about mods in the mods folder. They still affect Minecraft. If you have the mods in the mods folder, they will mess up the mods sometimes. So just be take your take some time out of your life, which is pretty much lasting for a lot, 
and uh, get make sure this mods folder is empty. Or if you have mods in there you want to keep and you don't want to redownload all of them, you can just highlight them and take them out. Which I'm not gonna do because I don't do any mods. I like playing legitly. But oh, no. creative mode, it's kind of weird. I like playing legitly without mods, but I like having creative mode and being able to fly. Yeah. I'm kind of yeah. messed up like that. Anyway, so once you're done with that, everything's in there. Mods are deleted and everything's gone. I think we're ready, guys. Um, let's test this out real quick. So let's go ahead and do this real quick. And I do have a server I can open up, or I can open up a friendly server of uh, other people's. So we'll see what happens there. So, but the mod worked, everything's going good, and uh, I'm gonna pause real quick so I can switch over to the full screen view of the game itself. So uh, I'll be back. Like I said, full screen here, guys, and we're gonna just go and delete some files here so we can get into it. None of these files are not needed for this mod, and they're not gonna affect it at all. They're just world files. So we're gonna go in Pokemon. We're gonna go to creative mode because I don't feel like going around the world collecting crap. And, um, sorry to disappoint you guys, but I'm not going to do recipes or crafting or anything like that, because this is not a mod spotlight or tutorial for mods. This is an install tutorial. And I'm just going to show some of the features that of the mod. This is show it works fine. And, uh, we're going to go around here real quick. What on earth? Oh, it's an apricot. Op apricot tree? I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that wrong. But this is how you get these little berries. This is how you make pokeballs. Actually, I'm not sure if I'm even doing it right because I didn't get any berries. But these here berries, you want from these trees because these trees uh, vary in berries, and this one's not even touching the ground. Man, these trees can grow in the air. That's awesome. Um, I'm pretty sure it's a glitch. And uh, let me show sure what these berries look like. They look like this right here. These guys right here. These ones are for the regular Pokeballs, these ones are for the Great Balls, this one's for the Ultra Balls, this one's here for the Master Balls. A lot of balls. And, um, <laughs> I couldn't resist. We're gonna go and grab every single one of these, just have some fun with them. And, uh, if you're not familiar with Pokemon, now the Master Ball is the best ball. It's a never gonna fail ball. It's never gonna, it's not gonna fail at all. And, um, you get your Potion Seal for healing, and these ones here for Max Revive. These here revive your Pokemon. Um, the Max Revive, um, revives it with Max Health, and just the Revive revives it with somewhat some health. And same with the Potions. Potion, um, gives your Pokemon more health back, and this one here gives you even more health back than the regular Pokemon, um, Potion thing. I'm being confused here, people. And, um, there's no Spawner Eggs. I wish they had those. That'd be really nice to have. But, um, these are pretty cool. And if you right click with your Poke deck right here, you get some uh, interesting crap. You can look at all the different Pokemon that are in the game. And Pokemon do evolve after use. And the way you get them to get trained and more powerful is by uh, simply just uh, killing things. And I want like killing. In Pokemon, you don't kill, you simply knock out. So, just not, for the sake of Pokemon, you gotta knock out a bunch of crap, even though you're killing them. Because even if you're knocking out a pig, you're still taking its food. I want food, you're taking its freaking lake. Oh, look at that! We got a whatever it's called. Um, I have no idea what that is. It is a, uh, something. And we're gonna throw a Pokeball at it. And, um, I can see some really cool sound effects. But we- Oh, we caught it! That was really cool. I was not expecting that to work. Sometimes it rarely works like that. He's got all these different Pokemon. You got this guy here. I've seen Squirtles. I've seen, um, no, I haven't seen Charmander yet. But I've seen a bunch of different type of Pokemon. You just gotta fly around or walk around and stuff. So we're gonna go ahead and work use this Pokemon real quick. And I'm actually not sure how to use the Pokemon. Oh yeah, you gotta use like, it's like Shift, no. Control 1. Yep, that's it. Control 1. And, uh, as you can see, I got one Pokemon. If I press Control 1 again, I return it. So let's go ahead and collect another Pokemon real quick, so I can show you other features of it. So I, I've also seen Ghastly as in right there. That's a Ghastly. We're gonna catch Ghastly. Come on, Ghastly, you're mine. You get in that ball. There you are. That freaking Char. It's Charmander. I've never seen Charmander before. I'm catching you. I want freaking Charizard. Oh, you hold your ball, you fool. And, uh, yeah, there's just a lot of different Pokemon. The checkers are really nice. There's no fire on Charmander's tail, and I believe. And the story, if Charmander doesn't have fire on his tail, that means he's dead. I'm not joking, I'm serious here. If the fire on Charmander's tail or Charmeleon or Char Charizard's tail goes out, they die. So I'm assuming this is a zombie Charizard because there's no fire on his tail. What's with the tail moving like that? It looks like he's freaking waddling like a freaking penguin. Like, what the heck? <gasps> Ooh, I always love that Pokemon too. I'm, sorry, I'm a Pokemon nerd. I'm a childhood fan. I love Pokemon. 
And we're gonna hear in a second to all his other features real quick. And uh, if you press Control Two, gas is gonna come out. Control One, our little fox thing's gonna come out. And suddenly we start battling crap. Return before you die. Finish it off. Ghastly. And now return. Before it freaking tries to beat your crap out of you. Now go out there, fight it off, fight it off. Now return. Now go out there. Now return. Fight. No. Fight. No. No. Yes. Yes. No. Yeah. No. Yes. Yes. Fight. Fight. No. Yes. Haha. -ha. Nope. You died. Uh, who I got left? Who I got left? I got nobody. Everybody died. That's very disappointing. Now when that happens, this is when the max revives come in handy. So you just get the max revives out. We're gonna get a few out here, and we're gonna get some potions out here, so they're not gonna use all of one thing. So let's get all this working. And you basically go on top of it, I believe. So let's go to the just the plain old revive here. Let's place control one. Okay, nothing freaking happened. Um, there we go. You just right click. You right click with the item selected, and you can you can heal whichever one you want. Um, Vulpex, yeah, that's what it's called, Vulpex. And uh, you can just do this one here, this one here, same thing. Right click, heal it up. So the max revive, like I said, you just right click, and whatever you click it on gets max health and everything. So, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna raise some Charmanders. Go, go, go! Raise some Charmanders, raise some Charmanders. Return! Sure. Fight! Ghastly, you freaking suck. You know that, Ghastly? You freaking suck. Charmander, you suck too! Jeez, I've got a friend of baby Pokemon. And they're fighting baby Pokemon, they can't even beat them. Go, Pokemon! Kill that thing that's barely even alive. Not you die too. Okay, um, it's kind of awkward to press control and four at the same time. And you died too. Jeez. Looks like I'm not going to be making it to the Pokemon League anytime soon. Okay, so uh, let's go to the options real quick and see the controls and see if we got any. Um, uh, nope, I was kind of hoping for the option to mess with the control button being that because I kind of don't like that. It's probably somewhere in the mods folder in the mod we just installed, but uh. Yeah, that's basically it. I was oh, I love this guy too. You're one of my top favorites. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. You're freaking awesome. You know it too. And uh, yeah, that's basically it, guys. And uh, I hope you like my videos. And if you do, I hope you subscribe and rate and comment. So um, yeah, see you later, guys. Later.